chose to start this video at 2.22 on the afternoon of was it Wednesday, 6th of December, Eastern Time. Yeah. So, so I'm for in a video about an injury to uh, John Klingberg, Leafs defenseman, that will require, that he admits will require surgery to repair, and that means at least prior to the first game of the 2024 Stanley Cup playoffs, Klingberg will be out. Long-term injured. Huge relief. The Leafs will have that cap space, but that, but this should never have happened. Did Brad Living learn from the incompetence of Kyle Dubas? From the Peter Morazic and Matt Murray signings? Dubas should have known that Morazic and Murray had been injury prone going into their respective stints as leave goalies. So why didn't Tre Living pick up on, learn from Dubas' incompetence? by actually doing some due diligence on Klingberg. Figure out if Klingberg was too injury prone to play with the Leafs. And and on top of that, to 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 give Klingberg four point one five million US dollars, even if only for one season, blowing the piggy bank on a defenseman who was nowhere near a stud. Klingberg is no Quinn Hughes. Never was with the Leafs before this season-ending injury, injury series. It's just a reminder of just the incompetence of the Leafs front office. Hopefully, these Leafs will, going forward, sign qu more quality defensemen. Because that those types are what the Leafs truly need. More like Quinn Hughes than John Klingberg. Will that happen? That's still to be determined. But at least the Leafs have uh, that, uh, that you know that that LTR cap space freed up. We'll see what happens. But in any case, Leafs play their next game over at the Canadian Tire Center on Thursday Eastern Time. Whereas among Canadian NHL teams on Wednesday Eastern Time. The Raptors and Oilers will be respective hosts of the Miami Heat and Carolina Hurricanes. On that note, I'm going to say, go Leafs, go!